Hello, and thank you for stopping by at Auto Avenue. If you have any car-related thoughts, comments, or questions, you can just post them in the Auto Avenue Discord server. The link to join is in the description below. Also, please be sure to subscribe and give a like. That way, it always motivates me to keep producing more videos. Now in this video, I'll be doing a trim level comparison between the five different trim levels available for the 2019 Subaru Impreza WRX and Subaru Impreza WRX STI. Now starting off with the Subaru Impreza WRX, this is the base model and it comes with a 268 horsepower 2 liter inline 4 cylinder engine um, that's a Subaru Boxer engine and it also has a twin scroll turbocharger. Um, you also get a 6 speed manual um, suspension that is sport tuned, um, symmetrical all wheel drive system, 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels, a trunk spoiler, a heated side mirrors, uh, cloth seats, a leather wrapped steering wheel that's flat at the bottom, mounting points on the roof to attach a crossbar, a Subaru, Subaru Starlink system um, with a 6.5 inch multimedia system that comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a lot of other features. There's also a 5.9 inch LCD color display in the gauge cluster. You also get automatic climate control system, a rear backup camera, and seven airbags. Next up is the Subaru WRX Premium, and on top of the features you get on the WRX model, there's also an optional Sport Linear Tronic transmission with paddle shifters. You can get it with either 6 or 8 speed manual modes. Uh, you also get 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels and fog lights. Uh, there's also an all weather package. Uh, that's offered, which uh, adds heated front seats and a windshield wiper de-icer. You get a Subaru Starlink 7-inch multimedia system, as well as a power tilt um, and sliding moonroof. There's also an optional performance package, which, which adds in Recaro Performance front seats, an 8-way power driver's seat. Um, it deletes the moonroof and adds red-painted brake calipers um, and high-performance front brake pads. The highest trim level available for the WRX model is the WRX Limited. And on top of all the other features that I mentioned previously, uh, the WRX Limited trim level adds LED steering responsive uh, headlights, uh, LED fog lights, automatic headlights, a keyless entry um, with push button start, uh, as well as pin code access, leather seats, a 10-way power adjustable driver's seat, um, some lighting features, and Starlink Safety Plus system. Next up is the WRX STI, and with that trim level, you get a 310 horsepower, turbocharged 2.5 liter inline four-cylinder Subaru Boxer engine. You also get a center differential that can be controlled by the driver. Uh, there are also front and rear limited slip differentials, a six-speed manual transmission, Brembo brakes, STI Sport Tune Suspension, 19-inch wheels, an STI Trunk Spoiler, which is bigger than the ones found on the WRX, um, LED steering responsive headlights, leather seats or ultra suede seats, red seat belts, a leather wrapped steering wheel with a flat bottom, uh, a Stru Subaru Starlink 7-inch multimedia system, uh, Starlink Safety Plus, automatic headlights, and dual zone automatic climate controls. Next up is the WRX STI Limited, and this is the top of the line model of the WRX STI. Uh, this includes Recaro front seats, an eight-way power adjustable driver's seat, a Harman Kardon premium audio system with nine speakers, keyless entry with a push button start, and pin code access, blind spot detection, lane keep assist, and uh, rear cross traffic alert. Uh, you also get um, some lighting changes and a power tilt and sliding moon move. I also wanted to take this time to talk about Subaru's SRH system or LED steering responsive headlights. Basically what this system does is it moves the headlights in the direction that you're turning in order to improve visibility uh, when you're turning around a tight corner so you can see exactly um, where you're going. Lastly, 
The Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive system also comes with an active torque vectoring system. And this allows for better traction and better control when you're going around the corner. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to comment down below and let me know your feedback. And I'll see you in the next video.